Well, we're uh, growing uh, seed corn, uh, soybeans, some green beans, uh, wheat, uh, on about uh, 2,000 acres of uh, sandy, uh, loamy sand, uh, all of it's irrigated. And uh, we've been uh, using cover crops very intensely for, for some 10 years, but probably goes back, we've, we've done some cover crop work for, for probably almost ever since I've been farming, which is since 1977. Uh, we've uh, concentrated uh, uh, fairly heavily with uh, ryegrass, uh, annual ryegrass, but we have had enough issues with controlling it that we've kind of opted for the last few years of only using where we're on acres that we're planning to go to soybeans to give us uh, the option of having a a second shot at burning it down. We're still working on, on trying to get the best method of burning it down. Right now, I think this year we're having pretty good success. The uh, field behind me has been sprayed uh, one week from spraying and, and uh, uh, it's looking like it's dying pretty well. So another week will tell us whether or not any, anything is still growing. If we can get this, this figured out, maybe we'll get brave enough to try it again for, for seed corn ground. In seed corn, uh, if you fail, it becomes a, a bit of a nightmare to, to try to get everything uh, under control again. We've also used wheat as cereal rye um, on occasion, especially where we're going to seed corn, it's a good option. We've also used uh, quite a few radishes, uh, winter peas, um, sometimes using both in uh, following wheat uh, and then following that with uh, seed corn. Uh, the radishes, of course, will, will winter kill. Uh, the winter peas actually will grow in the spring and, and uh, will produce uh, a fairly significant amount of nitrogen for, uh, for the following crop.